Greetings fellow viewers and welcome back. I haven't done a video in a fair while but I'm hopefully back to it and let's start things off with Magic Duels. So the new set is out, uh, the latest set in Magic the Gathering. I'm on Ket. This is an Egyptian themed set. Fairly a uh, big set uh, containing approximately 269 cards. Bigger than usual. Um, so it's been released on Magic Duels as well. But new story, new cards, new archetypes. Checking out those later. But for now, we're going to play through the story mode of Amonkhet. Get some more coins and hopefully open some packs later on. And so let's get to it. So as an initiate on Amonkhet, you've been told of the glorious afterlife promised to be the worthy of the by the god Pharaoh. But the path to become worthy is tumultuous. Five brutal trials that challenge every part of your being. You've honed your body, your mind and your soul. Can you withstand the tests of the five gods? So in Amonkhet there are five trials. Uh, depending on the five different colours. Hopefully this is what that's all about. And let's see what it's like. So we can complete the Amonkhet story or buy Amonkhet boosters from the store to unlock new cards for your starter box. And new archetypes in the deck wizard. So also on Amonkhet there are five gods. See here we're starting off with the white god. The cat god. And let's get into it. The two sons of Amonkhet illuminate the city as you march with your fellow initiates towards a monument before you. You prepared for this day since birth, the commencement of your journey to prove yourself worthy in the eyes of the god Pharaoh and the five gods. You begin at Oketra's monument where you and your companions must demonstrate solidarity to survive. So, Oketra is the white god, the cat god, and her trial is solidarity. So looks like we're Nahib. Nahib is one of the legendary minotaurs in the set. Oh, we get 50, uh, 60 cards right off the bat. Let's see, so it looks like we're red white. We've got a fairly decent opening hand here. What's this symbol? Oh, so these are the new split cards. So, so that's the symbol for the split cards. Take a look at that later. We'll keep this hand. This is fine. Got stone quarry for to tap for two mana. Two colours of mana. Let's see what we've got here. Fan bearer. White zombie. Uh, pay two to tap target creature and it's a one and it's a one two. Love all the new archetypes in Amon Ket all the new tribes. Zombies. Bit different round in this one. They're actually mummies. And most of them are become white zombies as well. So it's pretty cool. We're gonna have to take this damage here now, but that's fine. I love the new playmat, very sandy, very obviously very Egyptian theme like. Sacred Cat, Life Link, Embalm, 1 1. So Embalm is the new mechanic. What happens is when it's a creature you control is sent to the graveyard, and if it has Embalm, We'll just play the honor crop captain here. You can activate the embalm cost, trigger the embalm mechanic, and bring it back from the graveyard as a token. And it's a zombie as well as it's other type. So looking quite good here. Um not really got any other creatures at the moment. So we'll just play um, we'll just play one of the new trials, Trials of Solidarity. When it comes into play, all our creatures get plus two plus one and gain vigilance. Okay, yeah, he's tapping it, makes sense. Obviously vigilance only happens when they don't tap when they attack 
And the cool thing about these trials is there's also this other type of card that are cartouches. And cartouches are say, there's five in each colour. And they have their own effect and they also bounce back these trials to your hand. So say we have two, we play a cartouche and we get them back. Cartouches are also equipments. They're an enhancement aura. And since he's taxed his fan bearer, he can't activate his effect. Since it requires him to tap, so we will just attack with our honor crop captain. And what's this? Vizier of Deferment. Exile. Exile him. Uh, if creature attacks, okay, he gets exiled. But that's fine. We've got a magma spray we can use on the. Okay, so it doesn't. At the beginning of my next end step. Okay, fair enough. So I'll hopefully be bringing back some Friday Night Magic. Hopefully, be doing some other stuff as well. This is fine, he's just chipping away at our health. Vigilance, Embalm for 5, and he's a 3-2, we can get rid of that with Searing Spears. The land would like some more creatures. We'll use a Searing Spear on it for now. Go bowl. That zombie is annoying, so I might just kill that off if he doesn't have anything else to play. Fine, he's swinging with two. He's onward. Okay, he's bringing back the initiate. So as you can see, it's now a zombie human warrior. Oh, that'll do. Another honor crop captain. Bit annoying that I can't um, deal with that initiate. I mean the zombie now, but I will. Searing spirit again. And we'll just swing him for three. Use onward and up and onward to victory. So let's have a look at these uh, new split cards. So these new split cards are it has one effect here, and then when it get, goes into the graveyard, you can cast the second half of the spell with the aftermath effect. It gets exiled, and then this effect triggers. In actual uh, paper magic, the split cards are like sideways and okay, that's a bit annoying. Okay, so another new mechanic is exert. So what happens with Exert is you can trigger the Exert and it will do something a bit extra when it attacks. If you do Exert it, it doesn't untap during your next uh, upkeep. For now, let's uh, these will trigger itself. Unfortunately, one might die. We can uh, bring it back if we decide to exert the crop mate. I think for now we should we should attack. It will force him to 
he decides to blow. Okay, so he's just deciding to kill off one of them. Taking the two, that's fine. Um, we can bring one back by exerting the crop, mate. And we can keep doing this whenever he untaps. Okay, so he's embalming back the uh, cat. And he's going... So another new mechanic is cycling. Okay, and he's bringing back that one, which is a bit annoying. Cycling is back. Uh, like another... Um, Okay, so we're going to attack. We are going to exert this. Bring back on a crop caps into my hand. Okay, to so the battlefield. And he's going to just block that. Okay. Now it's a race. I should really cast onward and upwards. Onward to victory, I mean. So he's not really got anything either. So as you can see, he doesn't untap another land. That's nice. Not really. Okay, so we're going to swing with both. They'll pump each other up. See if he decides to block. Yes, okay, so just to get through an extra bit of damage, I'm going to onward the other on a crop captain. Double in his attack and exile target creature that blocked or was blocked by a zombie this turn. Okay. So he's exiling that so I can't return it to my great to my battlefield with the crop captain. That's fine. What's this? Okay, so it looks like this is a new icon they've added for the split card mechanic. So if you... Oh, for God's sake, another land, really? So if you want to use a... Aftermath effect here, I imagine you have to click on this effect. This icon here. And we're going to go into battle. No, I would not like to exert. He'll pump him up. We're going to want to keep someone here. Okay, he's just going to block that one. So I'm going to... Okay, so he's exiling that. Oh, I can't play it because he's a because it's a sorcery. Right, okay. So I can only play it as a sorcery. Okay, swinging with both. Puts me down to two. I can't block next turn, so I basically have to kill something. And compulsory rest, that's brilliant. So he can't attack our block. Where's my card? Where's my card? Okay, you all saw that, right? The number went down, but I didn't get anything. What was that? Okay, so that was a bit buggy. Okay, so this is combat settlement. That's a mythic, isn't it? No, that's just a rare. Well, that doesn't matter. I'm going to die next turn.
And that's GG, so we have to restart. Bit unfortunate that we didn't get any lands there. Any extra creatures, I mean. So let's hopefully get something better this turn, this round. Uh, that is not something I want to keep. And that is even more stupid. Shouldn't probably keep it, should have probably gone down six. See if we draw into anything. No, I'm gonna restart it again guys because that was a ridiculous opening hand. Hopefully we get something better. What is this? Did something happen? In the vast interior of the monument, the first trial begins. The goal is to retrieve the arrow of Arkechua from the hands of her powerful guardians. Your group rushes forward. Information sees the arrow, one of the guardians, and we just angel holds it high over her head. Well, we didn't get that last time. Alright, this is a little better. So we'll keep this one. Play our stone quarry first. Gust Walker, we can exert it and it gains plus one plus one. Glory Bringer, a new pretty powerful dragon, the only dragon in the set. Wow, Sacred Cat already, huh? It's got flying and haste and we can exert it and it deals four damage to... to target non-dragon creature and opponent controls. What have we got here? Cast out, which is an enchantment. Flash, when enters the battlefield, exile, target non-permanent and opponent controls until cast out leaves the battlefield. And the True Heart Duelist, 2-2, can block an additional creature each combat with a bomb. It's gonna be annoying. And I feel like I should play... Oh, it's got cycling as well. I feel I should play... You know what? I think I'll play the Trial of Solidarity this turn. I'm going to attack. I wonder since it's had at Vigilance, would Exert not trigger? Oh okay, it's got flying. Okay, so that's interesting. Since it had Vigilance, the Exert didn't happen, so it's not tapped. So the Exert mechanic won't trigger in the next step. And it's got something to pump these guys up, so I am not going to block. You know what, I probably should have played the Anointed Priest. Okay, so this is whenever a creature enters the battlefield, he gains one life. Uh, let's see. I'll play the stone quarry, obviously. I'm going to swing. You know what? Sure, let's exert him. Oh, he can't block anyway, right. What's his inbound cost? Three? See what he does. Okay, so he's going to swing with everything. I'm going to Magma Spray the True Heart Duelist. He doesn't bring him back, he's going to play an unwavering initiate. 3-2, Vigilance and, and Barb. Of 
Glory bound initiate. This is a rarity. Three one makes it when it attacks. When it when you do it gains plus one plus three and gains life link. Um, I think I'm gonna play the initiate. Hopefully we'll get in the land next turn we can call on our glory bringer. Rune server. Oh it's all the way from Origins. Each player draw cards, compulsory rest, that's brilliant. Okay on that, that's fine. Okay, he's just blocking with the he's just attacking with those. Oh those three. Okay, so we can now play the glory bringer. I think I'm gonna sack this. No, I shouldn't sack that, because that requires two. Let's play the True Heart Twins first. I'm going to skip attack for potential blockers. Okay, so he's swinging with everything. Let's block. No, let's block the three two actually. Oh, uh, well he's up, he's probably got pump up. Let's see what he does. Okay, I probably should have blocked with a true heart as well. Okay, he's gonna embalm that back. Okay, I'm going to... Call on Glorybringer. Um I'm going to exert it. I'm not going to exert that one. Deal 4 damage to that. It's fine. I can sack this next turn to get back to life. Okay, he's going to embalm life link. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, let's bring this out. I'm going to sat this to get back to life. I'm going to swing with this to get rid of his uh I'm not gonna exert it. Yeah that's fine. Oh are you kidding me? It's annoying. supposed to be easy right I can't block because I don't want that to die I would like more removal wow he's just bringing out all the stops eh
on a croc captain, that's alright. I need to cast out his embalm creature. Need to play the honor crop captain. Otherwise I'm dead. I need to save for blockers. Until I draw removal. Wow, is he really just swinging with that? And he's obviously got the pump up thing. Something to pump him up? Nope, okay. Just a land, alright, he's bluffing a bit. Alright, he's embalming his anointed priest back. Wow, that triggers off itself, okay. Magma spray, that'll do. It's bad to give him cards, but I want to draw something myself. Alright, exiles, okay, so it doesn't trigger. Um Well this is pretty much a stalemate. Right, I'm going to swing with this and this. I'm gonna exert my glory ringer. Kill that off. Alright, he's killing that, that's fine. Alright, back in the clear. Okay, this is looking a bit better. I can swear that's fine. Save that for removal. Don't need to exert anything yet. Now we're bringing it back. Third time's the charm, I guess. Wow, nothing still, really. Okay, let's just swing with everything. I don't need to exert anything. So we win. On to the next one. Minus ten. Hour in hand, you reach the Ketra's audience chamber. She gre greets you warmly as you fall into line to receive the token of her favor. An interesting inlaid cartouche. It hovers before you, before settling in your trembling hands. The metal is warm and soothes your nerves as you prepare for the next trial. On to the next trial. This is the Water God, I believe. Here we go. The grand illusionary labyrinth within Kefnet's monument twists and turns in all, turns you in all directions. You are in the domain of the God. Of knowledge which challenges you to employ your wits to pass through. The walls themselves move like liquid beneath your touch. Strange phantasmal forces, forms grasp at you. You struggle to make sense of your bewildering surroundings before you are lost. Looks like we're playing as Naheeb then. Oh wow, 410. Okay. Oh right, so this is a challenge then. There are two challenges to overcome if you proceed to overcome the first defeat the Sphinx this turn. Alright, so this is interesting, so it's a challenge. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we have Vicious Tumbling Sands, untap another target permanent. Cycling 1, whenever, when you cycle Vicious Tumbling Sands, untap target permanent. Have Glyph Keeper flying, whenever Glyph Keeper becomes the target of a spell or ability for the first time, each turn count that spell. And bomb 7, 5, 3. And what we got in hand, open it into Wonder X. Target creature can't be blocked this turn until end of turn. Those creatures, whenever gain, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Where I imagine X is a number of cards. Alright then, so this is Curator of Mystery is flying whenever you cycle or discard another card. Scry one. And he has two, four. Well, he's used up all his mana, so he can't cast anything. Fog Bank Defender prevent all combat damage that will be dealt to Fog Bank. So we need to hit him with both.
We need to hit him with both glyph bringers, uh, glyph keeper. I guess. Vigier has something to do. So I imagine we need to kill off a fog bank with magma spray. Let's do that. And then... Oh, X target creatures can't be blocked this turn, right? So we cast... But if we target this with a sorcery, it'll counter it. So we have to do it four times. So we need to... So we need to spend six mana. Two, four, five. Okay, so we need to untap this to untap our land, which we spent doing Magma Spray. We need to cast this for four. One, two, three, four. Wait, wait, what? Choose four creatures. One, two, Oh wait, have I, have I missed something? But he's going to counter this spell. Okay, so I believe I've done it wrong. I have the right idea. Yeah, I've done it wrong. Okay, so let's restart. So I have the right idea, what we need to do, okay, is, okay, so we need to use Magma Spray, target one of our Glyph Keepers, that's going to get rid of the counter, then we need to, okay, let's see if this works, target the arrow of the Glyph Keeper with the Vizier, that will get rid of that counter, then, we can cast the make non-blockable opening to wonder that will trigger now then we go into combat so when we're both easy peasy simple why did he do the animation? shouldn't do the animation Maybe I need to set it for puzzles as well. Excellent! Prepare yourself for the final challenge of this trial. Kefnet the Mindful awaits. Well then, let's do it! Here we go. Okay, so this is another trial. It's interesting. Something a bit different. To overcome this challenge, defeat Kefnet, physical combat is useless here. You must find another way. Okay. What we've got here, Sands of Delirium, target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Okay, so this seems, well, what does this do? Flying indestructible, Kefnet the draw a card and you may return a land you control to its on this hand. Okay, so we need to cast Traumatize first. Then do Thought Scour, see what we get. I imagine that will have something to do with it. So let's do Traumatize first. That'll put them down to 15. Do Thought Scour, see what we get next. Okay, another land. That puts back up to 10. But this isn't going to be enough. Hmm. 
Because he still has 13 cards left. And we only have 10 mana. And that leaves him with 3. We need to get rid of his... We need to do as much as possible. Okay, so there's an order of doing things here. Hmm. Target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Do we need to finish things off with Thought Scour? No, because that gives it a land. And this is only half. Thought Scour gives us a land. We need to pay one. Um. Half of thirty is fifteen. Half of twenty eight is. 14 I'm missing something So we need to save 6 mana So we need to do 15 Well we need to save 5, 6 mana yet So we need to do 15 We need to do this for 9. Well, we can do this for 10. Ah, wait, no, we can't. We have to do it this turn. Math isn't strong. Okay, let's do it for nine. No, I could have done it for ten. Is traumatized last? Do I need to thoughts? Do I need to sans my own? Let's. You know what? Let's sans my own for nine. See if that does anything. Ooh. There's a psychic spiral there. So that must have something to do with it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's do hours for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Target ourself. Okay, 
Thought scour him. Oh, we needed to do it for seven? Okay, seven then. So, wait, no? Oh, wait. Is it five? Okay, it's two. Okay, so this psychic spiral. Then do we traumatize ourselves? Traumatize ourselves. Twenty six. All right, I have the right idea now. So we've got two manics to spare. But we need to spend two mana to do it anyway. What else is in my graveyard? Can we psych? Can we aftermath? No. I mean, I've got the right idea, but I'm missing two mana. Oh, we thought scour ourselves. Yeah, and then we draw two cards. Okay, so this is the way. You thought scour yourself, put two cards in your graveyard, that'll give us psychic spiral. Then you traumatize yourself. Okay. How many mana have we got left to spare? Okay. Then you psychic spiral the opponent. He's left with four. Then we can stand the delirium for four. The opponent. Bam, he's got no cards in his library. Turn skips over. You can't draw cards. He loses a duel. You got there in the end, guys. Hope that helps you as well. You managed to compose your thoughts and outwit the labyrinth as you pass through the final doorway. You suddenly find yourself before Kefnet. He does not look upon, up as you enter. He anticipated your arrival long ago. He offers you his reward, the cartouche of knowledge. Now that you have proven your mental fortitude, the trial of strength can begin. Alright, that's going to do it for this part. Hope those helped you for the trials. Bit foreboding at the end with the trial of knowledge. But we got there in the end. The way of doing things. Hope it helped you guys out as well. We'll do the rest in another part. And I'll see you again next time.